Well, good morning. Welcome back to the Broadcast Retirement Network. I'm Jeff Snyder. This is BRN AM for Thursday, April 20th, 2023. And our top story today, teaching financial literacy to children so they can avoid credit abuse and bankruptcy. Joining me now to discuss this and a lot more, Jeff Pomerantz is the chapter co-chair for CARE Los Angeles. Jeff, great to see you. Thanks so much for joining us on the program this morning. Great to be here. Let's, uh, let's start off. I, I think the audience would, would like to hear a little bit more about CARE. Um, and we can talk a little bit about CARE, the, the broader organization, and then what you're doing at the Los Angeles chapter. Uh, absolutely. So CARE, which stands for Credit Abuse Resistance Education, was an organization started by a bankruptcy judge in Rochester, New York, around 22 years ago. And he saw that most of the young adults uh, coming into his courtroom um, that were filing bankruptcy all had one thing in common. They lacked any financial literacy training. Uh, it's a topic that until recently hasn't been even thought about being covered in schools uh, and people just don't learn it. Uh, when I was growing up, we had home economics where you learned a lot of different types of things and woodworking, practical things. Unfortunately, it seems that those types of skills are not really focused on. So he, using his platform as a bankruptcy judge, started a grassroots organization comprised of bankruptcy professionals, judges, retired judges. And the mission was to go into schools, uh, churches, temples, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, any organization where you find youth, and sort of deliver the message, deliver some key messages on budgeting, on credit, and other things that would hopefully stick with people and allow them uh, to, to not make the same uh, decisions that, that led people to come in. And he uh, was very successful, and it grew, and it now is uh, there are chapters in at least 20, 25 uh, cities throughout the United States. And, and obviously, in a very important mission, and, and we're going to talk in the second segment about what states are doing and what they could do. We'll get it and what educators can do. But I, I was just looking at numbers this morning as I was preparing for our discussion. There, according to the Bureau of Labor and Statistics, Jeff, there are over 370,000 personal bankruptcies in 2022. I, I mean, yes, we have a country of 300 million, but still, that's 370,000 too many. Well, bankruptcies is, is, is kind of an epidemic. Um, and you could look over the last, you know, how many decades and people just spend beyond their means. And people could have a lot of different reasons for it, uh, lacks lending, underwriting standards, uh, lack of financial uh, uh, um, literacy. I think it's all it combines. Uh, and I think young adults being armed with certain information that they are not getting in schools, they're not getting at home, they're not getting friends, will be make them better educated, will make them make better financial decisions and we'll be able to reduce that number um, and deal with the really the debt epidemic that we've sort of experienced uh, most acutely since the 2008-2009 crisis. Yeah, and then on top of that, then you had the pandemic, people lost their jobs, and we're still kind of finding, trying to find our way out of that. Jeff, uh, financial literacy, I mean, you talked about it, and you and I are about the same age, and I remember the home economics courses and wood shop, and I didn't do automotive shop too much, but <laughs> it was it was certainly offered. I, I these hands, not that good with cars. But let's talk about um, financial literacy. If we were to teach our children, uh, either young young children or even young adults, you know, people in college, uh, that's the basis for making better decisions, financial decisions, and ultimately independence. You know, that is, that is correct. And the big message that we deliver is not that credit is bad, right? Because we live in a society that it's impossible not to have credit. Uh, for example, one of the questions I ask, and I like my sessions to be interactive, is who is able to use cash on Amazon? Okay, credit is here with us to stay. So it's really the thoughtful use of credit and really understanding how credit works. One of my favorite slides I put on is if you buy an iPhone on credit and you make the minimum payments, it'll take you, depending upon the interest rate, five years. And I say, you'll still be paying off the iPhone 13 when the iPhone 18 is out. And I think that's an aha moment. And just to have people understand that, because there's a lot, a lot of psychology in terms of using credit cards. There's reports that say that people will spend more if they have a card rather than, uh, than cash. It's going into the various department stores and, and said, we'll give you 10% off 
if you sign up for our credit card, what that really means. So there's a lot of psychology around it and getting, getting young adults to be thoughtful about this. One, uh, one student in a presentation I made a few months ago came up to me after and said, you know, I, I wasn't really knowing what to expect coming into this uh, presentation, um, but I want to be successful in life. And I think some of the things you've taught me are going to help me be successful. Uh, that sort of encapsulates, encapsulates our mission and encapsulates um, hopefully what impact we're having in our organization on young adults throughout the United States. Yeah, and I, I bet I bet it's personally rewarding as well. Jeff, I need to take a very quick break. When we come back, we'll talk more about what policymakers, what schools, and everyone else can do to improve financial literacy and keep yourself out of credit abuse and bankruptcy. You're going to want to stay tuned right here on BRN AM. Imagine a new television network that will make you richer, healthier, and in control of your financial future. This network is for the policewoman in Nashville, Tennessee, the baker in Dubuque, Iowa, the teacher in Lexington, Kentucky. We want to make the idea of savings and retirement culturally relevant. But what do you see as a defining issue of the midterms? Especially for the smaller businesses. I mean, they are the lifeblood of the American economy. Featuring exclusive interviews, current affairs, and docu-series. 33 yeah. years old, you retired early. The philosophy is money only matters if it helps you live a life that you love. But you gotta start thinking about retirement as soon as you get in. The Broadcast Retirement Network will drive very high engagement with premium partnerships. So this isn't retirement and savings for your parents or grandparents. This is for all Americans. And we're gonna change the way you think about money. Welcome to the next frontier of retirement and savings. This is BRN, the Broadcast Retirement Network. Are you stuck with a low credit score? A credit report and score that's causing you to be denied credit or pay higher interest rates than others for the same things? Then do what Terrence did and called Credit Repair for your free credit evaluation to help restore your credit. I started thinking about buying a new house and my score wasn't where I needed it to be. I called and spoke with one of the representatives and we just had a good conversation and I, I liked what he was saying. Just one call for his free credit evaluation was all it took to start back on the track to repairing his credit. I'm seeing the deletions and I'm getting the report so I know something's being done. It does make a difference to me. All it takes is one call to get started. Credit repair has given me a second chance to have a better credit score. Don't let a low credit score hold you back another day. Do what Terrence did and make the call for your free credit evaluation. Call 800-819-4152. That's 800-819-4152. Again, 800-819-4152. Welcome back. We're joined this morning by Jeff Pomerantz. He's the chapter co-chair for CARE Los Angeles. Jeff, thanks so much for sticking around with us this morning. I'm happy to be here. You know, it's a passion of us at CARE to talk about financial literacy and be able to uh, spread the word. So uh, glad, uh, glad you have us on. Yeah, I, we are simpatico here at the network. I mean, that is our focus is how to be a conduit, how to work with people like you, uh, the partner to bring in very important information uh, to, to an audience. Jeff, uh, I, I was as again as I was preparing. There are 30 states currently in our union that um, that offer some kind of financial literacy course. Uh, so we're more than halfway to 50, but we're not there yet. We needed to be doing more. Yeah, well, look, one of the challenges we've had uh, both nationally and when I started our chapter the first time um, is really getting to school administrators and being able to explain to them the importance. And I don't think it's really a lack of people if they actually thought about it that says bringing this stuff to schools is not important. But I think there's such a pressure on school administrators and teachers in the curriculum they're required to teach. So I think getting their attention and being able to uh, find the time has been challenging. 
Uh, we're finding more and more um, as our organization has grown locally and it grows nationally that it's becoming a little easier. Um, and I think the the awareness uh, that has been by the state legislatures around the country in finally recognizing the importance, I think, has also had has it had an added impact. And let's talk about the teachers because you know they are interacting with our children. I, I don't have children; I have two cats, but I have nieces and nephews. They're interacting with our children. They need the right tools. They we talked about curricula before. They need the right curricula. To get to put in front of students, they need the right partners like yourself and and the care and care to interact with these students to give some real world, real life examples. Yeah, and look, most of the times we're going to schools once we get into the schools, and it's usually through the teachers as opposed to the principals or um, or school board people. It's a relationship that continues. Um, they want us back. They want us back the next year, and we have many of those relationships where we're continuing to go back. Um, so I think they see the value. I think once we get the hook on, okay, it's free. It's usually a 45 minute to an hour presentation. Um, we've talked to math classes, we've talked to advisory classes. Um, so it's it, it's challenging, but I think teachers get it. I've had a number of teachers come up to us after and say, you know, I wish I would have known this in high school. Uh, it could have prevented me from filing bankruptcy or making some bad decisions. So everyone sort of gets it. Um, again, the challenge has been uh, having it fit in with what the demands are on teachers these days. And, and I mean, I don't know how long the, the school day is. I, I seem to recall we got there at like 7.30, 8 o'clock, and then we're out the door by 2.30, 3 o'clock, and then you did sports and you maybe came home and did your homework. But um, this, is, this is probably an education also so if I'm thinking about it from the school administrator's, administrator's point of view and the teacher, it's not only education for the administration and the teacher and the student, it's also for the parents. And the parents could use some help along the way as well. Well, it's funny you should say that because we will be giving a couple of parent presentations in the next few weeks. One of the schools um, that here in Southern California that we have connected with wanted us to give to the parents. And again, it's you know, it sounds some of the some of the lessons we teach can sound condescending, um, you know, buy what you need, not what you want, save. Um, but what I make sure is in, in speaking to the young adults that th this is this is not intended to be condescending. And many of us, <laughs> even people who are extremely successful, uh, don't follow these principles. One of the videos we have, which I think is very powerful, is a higher an upper middle class person living the country club life, live with a big house, with a car. And then he says, how did I get, what, 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 what's happened to me? I'm in debt up to my eyeballs, somebody help me. So the point is, this is not only the young adults, this is everyone. This is, you know, young lawyers who are making a lot, working on Wall Street, who are just consuming and, 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 and spending and spending and spending. So there's a universal message that whether it's a high school student, whether it's a young adult or whether it's a young professional, I think it's it's uh, something that everyone can learn from. Yeah, I mean, we have to be lifetime learners. And, you know, I've been in the retirement industry, as I was telling you in the green room before, I don't know everything. And, and talking to people like you, I'm reminded, or I think about it, or if I read an article, I think about it. And I think there, there has to be that focus. Jeff, we're going to have to leave it there. Again, not as much time as I would like for this, uh, this very important topic. But look, we'll have you back again very soon. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. I'm happy to be here and uh, thanks, uh, thanks a lot. And that wraps up this episode of BRN AM. Have a topic of interest, someone you think we should talk to, drop us a line. And don't forget, for all the latest curated news in lifestyle, wellness, finance, tech, so much more in all in one place, check out today's edition of our premium daily newsletter, The Morning Pulse. Want to search our archives, check out our latest content? Well, visit our website and, of course, all of our streaming partners. We're back again tomorrow for another edition of BRN AM. Until then, I'm Jeff Snyder. Stay safe, keep on saving, and don't forget, roll with the changes. Now is your opportunity to co-create content around any topic on the first lifestyle and wellness network. Reach a global audience through our platform and co-own exclusive branded content.
All of our programs are available on demand and also as audio-only podcasts, so you can take us on the go. Broadcast Retirement Network, available anytime, anywhere, and on any device. Tax audits, tax liens, wage garnishments. Every day we hear stories like this about good folks who are simply struggling to pay their bills. Each of them are living a frightening IRS tax nightmare and they are afraid it will destroy their lives. I'm a divorced single mom and my ex-husband left me and the kids with a lot of unpaid bills, including unpaid taxes. I was really starting to show my stress on my kids because the IRS had sent me a letter demanding a huge payment from me. I couldn't afford it. So then the IRS was threatening to garnish my wages. I'm already living paycheck to paycheck. That would have put me over the edge financially. It truly seemed hopeless, but then a friend at work told her to call the tax relief line. The people at the tax relief line, they told me about something called innocent spouse relief. They worked it out so that all of the taxes from my ex are not my problem. I don't know how that works and, and I don't care. All I care about is that I don't owe the IRS a dime and they are not going to take my paycheck. Even if it seems hopeless, you should call the number on your screen right now. There is absolutely no cost for the call or the consultation. You are under no obligation. If you are worried that the IRS could garnish your wages, seize your assets, even take your home, call us right now. The tax relief line is here to help you. Now you have a knowledgeable, professional team of tax experts that are ready to negotiate with the IRS and fight for you to save you money. The Tax Relief Line's professionals have successfully negotiated thousands of cases, reducing and sometimes even eliminating the tax debt for their clients. It's very easy to get started. Simply call the number on your screen right now. You don't have to live in fear anymore. The call and the consultation are free. 